Ooh. So, I've just done a CV. I've done it up the track a little bit. I was just testing it then, back and forth on a bit of a, a turn. And um, this is the second CV I've done now. So, I always carry, after I did the first one, I always carry a, a second, like a spare CV now. So I'm not, stuff it, let's just do it on the track. So I've got the GoPro out. I'm gonna do, basically I'm gonna narrate it at the end but I'm gonna go through, jack it up, do the CV out bush, in the dirt, and show you how easy it is to do a CV on one of these rams. This is a 2020 DS, and it um, doesn't take much at all, so let's do it. <sighs> Always carry the right spares. So. I hope it's the right one. So I'll do it. That's what I've just broken. We'll have a look where in a minute. Gonna need to jack the vehicle up. So basically, lucky enough for these bars, these um, off-road animal bars, it's got like a little, a little keyhole here. Fits a uh, high lift jack, spot on. The ground's fairly firm here, so I'm just gonna see how we go. Make sure you're gonna chock it up, whether you've got chocks that you bring with you or uh, find something in the bush. There you go, bit of a stick I found in the bush. Shock it up, same side. Just to stop that little bit of a rollback. I don't know if, any, if anyone hasn't used the high lift jack. Up is up, down is down. We wanna go up, so we lift that lever up. I'm just putting pressure on the jack for now, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the tyre, I'll loosen all the wheel nuts off, just loosen them, jack it up, and then rip the tyre off. So we'll start with that. Rightio. Tools. Little soft face hammer. Don't need them. Bag of goodies. For the wheel nuts on the uh, on the ram, seven eight impact drive. Lift this up, turn your good hand. Sit. That's it, keep going. It all comes off. There she goes. Gonna chuck the ground sheet down now so we don't get carved and pinned in. Right now guys, next thing we're gonna do is gonna loosen that axle nut off. 36, I believe. 36 wheel socket. Beautiful, that's loosening up. Right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the brake caliper off. Brake caliper's two bolts, get yourself a cable tire, a bit of rope, whatever, so you can, once you've taken it off, you can pin it up top. Right anyway, 21 mil, get this brake caliper off. Right so we've taken the brake caliper off and I've just zip tied that up, cable tied that up out of the way. Next we're gonna go ball joints, all right? So we're gonna do the upper, go the upper and lower, 13, 16. Right here, so we've just, Wound off this top upper ball joint nut. Get the rest of the way off. Now the easiest way to crack these things is like jarring them. So obviously they're a tapered fit in here. 
So you just sort of need yourself like a ball peen hammer or something that's hard face. Just keep in mind hard face to hard face is never really good, but the easiest way to do it is to jar them. Like that. Pop. Righto, so that one's out. It's out. Now we're going to do the lower ball joint, which is here. Exactly the same way. Let's him off. Make sure you don't lose any of your gear. There's the other one of them over there somewhere. All right, same deal. We're going to pop him jarring it. Make a liar out of me. Sometimes you've got to give him a bit more. Oh, it already popped. That's why. Right, now we've already loosened this um, axle nut off, so now we're going to take that completely off. Back to our 36mm impact. Now generally your new CV is going to come with a new axle nut. I seem to see there's one from the last one. I keep them just as a spare. As long as you've got one or two, just in case you have a cross thread, lose one, get a bit of shit in it, whatever. It's, um, it's handy to have a spare. So now there's nothing holding this assembly. Pop your little ABS line out the way. Just a little clip there. Pop. That's it. Right, now. You've got to slide the whole CV shaft back into the diff per se and get it out of this housing. We'll do that now. Get your soft face hammer, punch that through. That's it. Get them out clear. Just be careful you don't put too much pressure on your ABS line. You don't want that popping, okay? I normally flick them underneath there. It gives it a bit more. And then it's nice and loose. Remember, pop it back on. All right, now the next part. Generally, if I was uh, at home, not out bush, I'd have this on a few more chocks and stands. But I've got to get under and just pull using the dead blow hammer. You just tap it on the back the back of this inner CV and it just gets it past like a little rubber o-ring just double check our jacks all good before we jump under jack still Mickey Mouse and remember when you're out bush no one's coming to save you so take extra time do it right And that's it. That's your CV out. Now that, not supposed to happen. But that's where our brake is. See, that's nice and quiet. Plenty of movement in and out. Not so quiet. Right, oh, young fella. We don't want to drop it in the dirt, so I'm just going to give you a hand. Righty oh, new CV. Oops, sorry mate. Already comes booted, greased. Like I said, new axle nut, so you know which way's out. You can't get it, it only goes in one way. So same deal, just in reverse. I'm gonna slide this back. So our, our inner is gonna go straight back in. Tap, tap, tap. Get it past the O-ring, and then we work our way backwards from there. Where's that little dead blow hammer taken? Right in front of me. So this is where it's got to go in past that O-ring. And you just got to be careful that you don't try and smack it. Excuse me. You just got to be careful you don't try and smack it on the rubber because that's when you end up pinching the rubber. 
So just come all the way back out, get on the end of your shaft. I think, that, I think that's gone. Yep, so it's punched through. That's all it takes, not a lot. If you've got to smack the crap out of it, it might not be lined up. And then we just work back from there. So we're gonna stick our axle thread back in our hole. Make sure our ABS line comes back around this side like we originally had it, don't forget that. That's coming back through there, happy days. Right, all I'm gonna do now is start dropping our ball joints back in, one in there. Line our axle up properly. That's it. Get that thread sticking out the end there. Line that one there up. And then we start chucking a few nuts on just to hold everything in place. That one there. That one there. New axle nut on. Just feather that down nice. So I've already done that finger, so I know the thread's good. All right, don't just crank it straight on with your rattle gun because you'll end up cross-threading it. All right, I know that's good. All right, I'm not gonna do that super tight. All right, it's just gonna go in there so it holds it in place. Now I'm gonna start working backwards. I'm gonna chuck my top, my bottom ball joints on, make sure they're nice and tight. All right, then we're gonna chuck brake cover back on and then tighten that up, that axle nut, and uh, we'll see what it looks like there. All right, guys, when you're, chucking, when you're chucking these ball joints back on, just be aware you can't just rattle them back up because they've got that nylon thread. You've got to stick a spanner on the bottom of the actual tapered bolt, per se, on the taper. There's a little thread that's um, sort of hexed at the bottom, so just chuck a shifter or whatever on that. Get your spanner, and then you've got to actually tighten it up. Oh, yeah, that's probably what takes the longest out of the whole CV change out. If you've got a better way of doing it, I'd love to hear about it. Ratchet spanner, maybe. Don't have one that big. Right, yeah, before I forget, just pin that ABS line back up. Now, the last thing, or second last thing to do, is we're going to put our brake caliper back on our disc. Now, hopefully, the, um, the pistons haven't compressed and, and pushed our brake pads together, because that'll make it a bit of a pain in the ass to sort of get a shit. A, um, a screwdriver or whatever in there to sort of prop them open, but with a bit of, little bit of luck, they haven't done that. Cut our cable tie. Make sure they're on the right way, yep. Look at that. Because they were pretty quick, we don't have to worry about it. Gotta line him up, find our other hole. Where is he down here somewhere? That's it, down here. Now you've only got one hole, one in, so the other one shouldn't be too bad to line up. There he goes. Start him off, and then we can get the spanner in there. That's it. Right, last thing's last. Get a big 36 mil socket again. So, brakes are on, go back through it, brakes are on. We've got upper and lower ball joint, well, upper and lower ball joint. Brakes, axles in, nuts on, but not tight. That's all we took off, yeah? That's all we took off, ABS line back on. Axle nice and tight. Done. CV change out. 
on a Ram 2020 DS. If I wasn't filming, it probably would have been even quicker, but I reckon maybe, I don't know, 20 minutes, if that, while you're lollygagging around. So if you've got any questions about it or you've got a, an easier, better way of doing it or I'm doing something wrong, I'm just, this is self-taught from having to do the second one now, but um, leave us a comment, let us know. Otherwise, happy days. Hopefully you don't do them like I do. See you, crew.